A popular statistician has figured that the Jeb Bush campaign has spent $25,000 for every one person who voted for him in Iowa tonight. Statistician Nate Silver, very popular, works for ESPN as the editor of the 538 blog, also does a lot of statistician work for elections, and his group over there have determined uh, that Jeb Bush is expected... Um, tallies of 2,600 people multiplied divided by the amount of money that his super PAC has spent comes to $25,000 per person who voted. You know, poor Jeb never really wanted to be president, admitted that he hated being the anticipated front runner. And while it may seem like I'm ripping on Jeb, actually... A uh, little bit of respect for the guy, because he may be resisting the Illuminati Mafia Bush crime family uh, methods of operation. Uh, and he just didn't have it. You could tell. He really didn't want to do it. And, the, you know, it's sort of like his daddy. It's like the, the overbearing father who's living vicariously through his son on the football team, pushing him to become a big NFL star. That's what happened to Jeb Bush. You're going to be president, Jeb. It's your turn. You're going to be the third person, the Bush dynasty. So uh, he'll probably continue to go. The word is that Martin O'Malley is suspending his campaign after getting less than 1% in the Iowa caucuses. <laughs> and I checked Twitter just for a, uh, an interesting, my own statistician uh, statistics search. I searched Twitter to see how many people had tweeted out the hashtag President O'Malley. And before I did my tweet explaining it, it was five people. <laughs> five people. And the whole world tweeted out President O'Malley. Well, anyway, stay tuned. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. And stay tuned. More videos coming soon.